Right, today I'm going to review SimCity for the Spectrum. Good game. Very good for Spectrum. Going to easy. You're creating a landscape now. You have to wait for it to create a random landscape. So we'll wait. And then there's your basic layout. You've even got your own cursor which you control with the joystick or the keyboard and if you've got a maze but I don't think it's compatible with a maze. You can do your roads. See? It's just the same game, just from the spectrum. Join them up. Put your residentials in. People to move in. Then we put our power plant, so that I've got power. I have a coal because it's cheaper. Because I'm a cheap ass like that. Put our roads in. Very good for spectrum, you would have to agree. Pull them in, join them down. Yep. All the roads in, and then we connect them with power lines. The houses to the power plant with power lines, so people can start moving in. And we can put a few industrial in, and a few commercial in. As you can see, the game's retained most of the game, even though it's crammed onto 8 bit micro, such as a Spectrum. Very good. All fitted onto a cassette. Now we have our, the, the budget, comes over here. We'll keep everything as it is, over these figures. No, it's not bad for a spectrum. Too much pollution as it's saying. It's a very good game, very well made. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Okay? Goodbye.